Hello, hello. Welcome back to... No. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Chats with Char. As always, we're going to be chatting while I'm doing my makeup. You guys can chat to me in the comments and there's always going to be a comment of the day which can be a question a normal comment anything like that and it's going to be a shout out to you guys for watching and commenting so today i am actually filming this before the first ever video has been put up so obviously i can't see the comments yet so i'm going to edit this after that first video has been up so i can put your shout out here so this is the comment of the day Woo! shout out to you for watching my video and commenting and in future i'm not going to record any more until i've got the video beforehand so this will be like a weekly video where i will record it maybe on the monday and upload it on the tuesday so that i can give you guys a shout out to whoever has actually watched my video let's get on with it and stop waffling chats with chat oh that was pretty good actually so I'm talking today mainly about anxieties with COVID and everything because I understand that everybody is kind of in different situations, got different thoughts of it. I just want to tell you my opinions, how I'm dealing with it and hopefully some of you can relate and make you feel a bit better about how you're feeling about it. Maybe make me feel a bit better about how I'm feeling about it. I've already done my face makeup and my brows because I'm just going to focus on the eyes and lips today um, and just mess around with some makeup. Where did COVID come from, please? Because it's been a bit of an inconvenience to my life, I will admit. Uh, I mean, it was actually kind of nice to be on furlough. I know everybody says, oh, it's such a nightmare. Deep down, I know a lot of people are actually loving not working because uh, realistically, I feel like we all need a bit of a break. So in a way, we should have this more often. Not the whole COVID thing, don't get me wrong, we shouldn't have that more often. But I feel like we should all, we all deserve a bit more of a break, you know? The holiday that we get from work just isn't enough. It's not enough because if you do end up going on holiday, what, you get one break out of the year, maybe two, if you've got a bit more money. Um, but, you know, I feel like we all deserve a bit more of a break, you know, but now I'm back to work. I feel like it's even harder than it was before, so maybe not. <laughs> all right, I'm already contradicting myself here. The fellow that I was on actually really helped me, but also did not help me at the same time um, because... Although it helped me because I got a bit of a break, I got to focus on makeup more, I got to focus more on myself, it also gave me more anxiety for when I got back to work, um, which is not really ideal. I don't know if any of you agree, but this is my opinion and I think this is very accurate in my life anyway. When the first, when we had the first lockdown, I didn't know one person with it, with corona. I don't know one person who had it. I didn't even know people who knew people that had it. So none of my friends or family knew anybody with it. So it was almost like, like who even has it, you know? Who has it? Because I didn't know anyone who had it. Obviously people have it, okay? But I'm just saying, I didn't know anyone. My little sister, the other day she stayed over, uh, well, like the other week now, actually. When she got home, my mum rang me the next day and said, she was with somebody before you, a person who she was with before, which is like kind of my auntie, she's now got coronavirus, so I was like, oh my god. Um, so she's obviously in a family as well, so to me that was like, oh, that was a bit stressful because I don't really want it. So obviously nobody, obviously nobody wants it, uh, but you know, I just have even anxiety just about going to the place to get tested because I don't know what they're going to do. Stuff like that freaks me out. I freak out if I go to doctors, hospital, or anything like that because, you know, as you all know, I'm a drama queen. But also, you know, it's just part of my anxiety, so not much I can really do about that, I'm afraid. But my sister did never have any symptoms, so that's good. And we didn't either. I mean, I keep getting a sore throat now and again, but mm, probably just me being dramatic. If I get tested and I have got it, I know I'm going to be so dramatic. I'm going to be in bed thinking that I'm dying, thinking that I'm never going to wake up again when I go to sleep. And it's going to be a bit of a wow win. So it's better off me not knowing, to be honest, if I've got it. So I've been in contact with my counsellor. I cancelled my counselling at first when I had that my sister's got it just to be on the safe side and he said just give it 24 hours and make sure that I've got no symptoms or anything before coming in which I didn't so I went in and it was all fine but then I got a call from him saying that he's gonna have to reschedule our next appointment because he's been into contact with someone with corona. Already that was two people that I heard of that had it in the space of like a week when that's way more than anyone that I've heard of from the whole of last lockdown. So I was like, oh, it seems like a lot more people's got it. So we rearranged that and I went and saw my counsellor again, uh, like a week later. 
And again, he's had to reschedule this week because again, he's been in contact with someone else with Corona. So it seems like so many people have it now when before it seemed like literally nobody had it. So I'm a little bit confused by that. So in my opinion, it just seems like everybody has it now and I'm so scared to get it myself. I like, I'm so nervous about getting it. I really don't want it. Let me know in the comments. Have you, do you know anybody who's got it or have you had it or, you know, it'd be interesting to see how many people actually have it. I mean, don't you feel like, as well, with, with all this corona and everything going on, like, obviously, I live in the UK, so we've got Boris, you know, making all these decisions or whatever, but he is never clear on what happens. Like, I don't even bother watching them anymore because I used to watch announcements and be like, oh, what's happening? But now, what's the point? Because literally, it's never clear about what rules are, are rules, you know? Right now, I don't know if I can go in someone's house. I know we're in a lockdown, but can I go to my mum's house? Can I not? Do I have to completely stay in? What's open, what's not? I have no idea. And I feel like so many other people just have no idea what's actually going on, you know? Make it a bit clearer or something, because I don't think it's very clear at all. It's annoying me when I'm waking up in the morning, having my cup of tea, and I put on the news, and every single time it's corona, talk about something else talk about anything else just stop going on about it because you're stressing everybody out and then i've got to watch you know tipping point or the chase i don't want to watch that but i'm being forced to watch that in the mornings now because i don't want to see corona i want to see something interesting that's happening in the world apart from that you know anyone with me yeah i'm sure we're all with me i don't want to see it anymore everybody dance now mm, 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 mm. also i just want to know if any of you have had corona or you've got corona how does it feel? <laughs> What's it like? Because I want to know. Uh, and get well soon, by the way. I hope you're all right. But I want to know what it's like, you know? Is it like, are you just feeling ill? Or are you actually feeling fine? You just got the sniffles? Like, what is it? Because I don't even know. But don't say Google it, because I don't do that, because I have anxiety. And that's the worst thing to do. Don't Google it. Because I was doing that at the beginning, and I was stressing myself out, because every symptom must seem to be getting. So if it said headaches, I've got a headache now. If it says you've got, you get, your skin turns blue, I'm like, hold on, I'm feeling a little bit blue now. All right, this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.